So my friend Antoinette tells me that I can't say no. So she asked me a bunch of favors to see how far that goes. Now apparently I avoid the favors by making them a joke, but I never thought about it so it doesn't seem so. But then I thought about why I was in so many shows, doing so many projects for so many pros. I'm so tired and tied up and making no dough, yo. I can't say no, man. I didn't even know. I am overwhelmed. But see, I've done it to myself because I'm a yes man. Adam can do it with no help. The challenge accepted. Time pressure neglected. Got to keep my eyes open. Yeah, sleep's affected. Mind unprotected. Self-annoyance detected. So I ask why I do it. I will honor contention. Whoa. I said I will honor contention. In other words, I am just a blank expression. In other words, these are just the shoes I've stepped in. Pretending to satisfy your first impression. Damn. So when she tells me that I can't say no, I just appease her expectations because it makes a better show. Whoa. Yo, I'm really an actor. I never thought about it, but I'm really an actor. <laughs> Master, lie teller, but truth's a factor, but preserve laughter to save myself from disaster. See, lies don't matter. Not to you, my audience. I'm acting off stage, man. It's probably Freudian. It's setting in. The more I think about it, it's true. What you expect me to be? It's the impression I do. So if you say, Adam, you're so smart, <laughs> then I play on my intelligence. If I was acting stupid before that, it's utterly irrelevant. If you say, Adam, you're an animal, then it's understandable when I start to act in tandem with the actions of a cannibal. But if you say, Adam, you're so sweet. What a nice guy. Best believe I reply with a twinkle in my eye, baby. This is what I do. <laughs> and this is all for you. Keep being so beautiful and I'll remain true. See, I utter to you exactly what you want to hear in hopes that the better man is how I will appear. But I never reveal it, conceal my hidden agenda. Whether good or bad, I remain a pretender. Truth bender, false contender. So what she thought was sugar sweet was actually splendor. Damn. So who am I? I'm my own arch nemesis. The lies I despise, but the truth that you've settled with, that I've meddled with, but that ain't really me. Or am I my performance? Do I become what you see? See, I only do these things because you said I could. If you never brought it up, I'm not sure I would. And I only kept at it because you said I was good. But if you never said that, I'm not sure I could. Whoa. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why do I feel so deceiving when that seems kind of great? Now, you said I should try. I didn't debate and I achieved because you believed, and that's just called faith, right? Nah. See, the problem is when I've realized that I'm smarter than you and probably about five steps ahead of you, too. See, our current conversation, I've had it before. Back home when I was practicing, preparing for more. So I was more than ready for our argument tonight. I prepared the best strategy so I could win the fight. First, I acknowledge all my faults so you have nothing to say. Then I beat up on myself so you give me my way. Now you think you have the power, which really makes me stronger. But in the back of my mind, I know that I'm the real wronger because I justify my soullessness, my apathetic actions, your life I take control of it for selfish satisfaction. I victimize myself. And you put the blame on you which makes you apologetic for the shit that I do. <laughs> and you don't have a clue. Because I've been at this all my life. And I don't see an end. I'll probably do it to my wife. Just acting my ass off, performing like Elvis. I'm even acting right now. Yeah, you get the message. I've come to terms with the fact we are inherently selfish, but I was born a performer. So you never could tell this. Damn. So who will ever know who I am? I guess it really all depends on how true I am or how smooth I am. 
It's enticingly detestable. I make the sour truth taste oh so delectable. Whether performing or not, it's not wrong or right. See, I live in the moment and that's all right. Yeah, I'm still me at the end of the night. So be whoever the fuck you wanna be, and that's called life.